top of the palm. You can clap if you'd like. Hey. Oh, don't clap with that. I suckered you into that one. Here's the real trick. Now, on a good day, this might take two or three tries to pull off, so we'll see what kind of day we're having. We'll try to get the gun up on top of the palm without the aid of the left hand. And here we go. And don't worry, crowd. The guns are always unloaded. That's right. All right, here we go. We'll start again with that barrel tap. We go over the shoulder. We whip it back to the stall, and there you go. All right. Now that we're going to hit that the first time, you guys are seeing how much you're working on it. That was fair. Good job. Now that we get gunfighter, newest gun inside and out, while Bill could shoot with either hand, and uh, roll the gun from hand to hand, or maybe for no real reason, throw that provincial paw off on one hand to the other, like so. I'll just do that until you notice. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Gun safety at all times. Now, there's a lot of kids out here that do have to stay. Do not sneak into your mom or dad's room and stop playing with their guns after this, okay? I don't want to hear any kid got hurt because he's trying to do what Joey Dillon did. I started when I was a kid with a cap gun from Disneyland. It was actually a pirate pistol. And uh, I had no idea I was going to do this. Some sort of weird sense of humor by God. I don't know. But anyway, I uh, talked to my parents about it first. So don't ever touch a real gun without your parents, your grandparents, somebody, right? Gun right. safety, good thing. Good. All right. Now let's get back to the fun stuff, right? You can also go over the top of the wrist with quick grabs and releases back and forth like so. Up to the left, put it away a little differently around the top and drop it in. There you go. 